I edit each of these guide videos through the night as soon as my team gets our day one clear. If you find the video useful, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below and share the video as well. Yo, what's going on guys? It's G-Miners here. In this video, we are going over how to defeat the Caretaker in the Vow of the Disciple raid. For this, my team found it best to run three teams of two. Two players will be responsible for ad clear, two players will be responsible for stunning the boss, and the final two players will be responsible for grabbing glyphs and bringing them to the obelisk. Your main goal here is to delay the caretaker from reaching the obelisk before it is filled up. If he reaches this and you still have not entered all the glyphs, your team will wipe. The two players who are stunning will need to bait him into slamming them. After doing this, his head will glow yellow and become vulnerable. Shooting this will then open a spot up on his back, which will also glow yellow. Shooting this final spot will then stun the boss. This is exactly like the mechanic from Scourge of the Past. It is that simple. These two players should just repeatedly do this as much as they can. The two players on ad clear are going to focus on helping keep the guys stunning the boss alive while also opening the doors for the two players who are grabbing glyphs. Doors can be opened by shooting either of the two black crystals on the sides of the door in the back of the room. These last two players are going to be running into a room that is located near the obelisk or again in the back of the room. This room will be dark and contain glowing orange glyphs that can be picked up. Each player can hold up to three glyphs and bring them back to the obelisk to be entered. By shooting the glyphs on the obelisk that match the glyphs that you picked up, they will be removed from the obelisk and you will get closer to a damage phase. My team personally found it easiest to run in and grab two glyphs at a time rather than the max. The reason for this is because there is a chance that with three glyphs, each one is located on a different side of the obelisk. After you shoot the first glyph, you will have a limited amount of time to shoot all three symbols before the obelisk rejects your offering. If this happens, none of the glyphs you just entered will count and they will need to be picked up again. As these runners are also in the room grabbing glyphs, you will get stacks of darkness. 10 stacks will kill you, so make sure to watch these and let them cool down if need be. Once all of the glyphs are entered or offered to the obelisk, your team will be ready for a damage phase. It may take a few seconds, but eventually, one of the three plates around the obelisk will start to glow orange. Standing in this circle and only this circle will allow you to deal damage to the caretaker. Eventually, you will get a warning that your time in this circle is almost up, and then you will need to move to the second circle and eventually the third. The caretaker's health is also health gated, sort of. So you want to make sure to do enough damage to complete a section, but if you do more damage than this, it also doesn't seem to fully health gate the boss. I'm not sure if this is just a gauge to show your team what you should try and do for damage, but either way, all you should be concerned with is DPSing the boss at that time. After the damage phase ends, a set of golden stairs will descend from the ceiling, walk up these to reach the next floor, and repeat the exact same process again. In total, there are three main floors. After this third floor, the boss will enter its final stand. Here, you will go up the last set of stairs and have three more orange circles in front of you to damage with as you chase the boss down the hallway. Once you get the boss's health to zero, you will complete the encounter.